What up, world? Back again. It is the Country Rap Report. Yours truly, Big XL. And it's your boy, T. All right. If you haven't already, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button on your way in. If not, hit it on your way out. Make sure you get in those comments. Bombard those comments. Bombard those comments. All right, you know what it is when you check out the Country Rap Report. You're going to get the best in artist interviews, the best in Country Rap reactions, and we're going to also give you Country Rap Hot Topics. We're going to let you know what's going on in this genre of Country Rap. We're going to let you know some things you might not already know. First and foremost, Chief, how you doing? I am Gucci. I am Gucci. You know, just chilling. I want to know why all the dope concerts come through Florida, bro. Cause Florida's that spot. What you mean? How you don't know? I don't. Hey, hey, man. Speaking of concerts, speaking of concerts, we're gonna start off this way. Up Church, Up Church officially kicked off his concert okay. tour. I say his concert. Ryan, Mr. Ryan Up Church, the boss of country rap, has officially kicked off. His Tune In Tour 24, for those who don't know, it features T2, Broadnax, and J.J. Lawhorn. It jumped off. It jumped off Saturday, March 9th. All right? Just In off. Nashville, Tennessee. There's a lot of posts that I've seen. I've seen people posting about it. Um, Man, that, Payday was people, there. Who? Cool Hand Luke. Payday. Yeah, Payday. I seen Payday. I seen Cool Hand Luke. I seen J Hop. I seen Cricket Mariah. Oh yeah, Cricket was there. Um, I seen Kurt. Um, man, um, Nate, Nate Poor, Father and Son reacts. Um, a lot of people who I'm familiar with, but not so familiar with. But man, they flooded the timeline. Yeah, I seen it a they, lot. They flooded the timeline. They had flooded it. That tour, like I said, it, it started March 9th in Nashville, Tennessee, and it's going to end August 3rd in Taylorville, Illinois. All right. Mm -hmm. So, and he's got March 9th, March 15th, March 16th, March 28th, March 29th, March 30th, three days in a row in Texas, Houston, Dallas, San Antonio. He's got April 4th, 5th, 6th. Then 11th, 12th, 13th, 19th. Then he takes like a he takes like a nine day break. And then he's back on on April 28th, 29th, April 26th, 27th, 28th, May 30th, May 31st, June 1st, June 5th, June 1st, July 5th, July 6th. That's gonna be the big event, the Redneck Rave event. Um, July 28th. That's not August that's, 2nd. That's separate from the Redneck Rave. Okay, well, that that what's it called, Sons of the South? Yeah, yeah, it's that huge, huge concert. Fourth of July weekend, church will be there. Church, all our nations will be, I think, the First fourth. Day. The fourth church will be the fifth, and I think Adam and Demon Jones are the sixth. No, no, no. So it goes. Um, Did I say it wrong. So up church is the headliner on the first night. The fifth. Then, huh. No, because the first on, night on the, on the uh second night, yeah. New breed and, and you know outlaw nation, them guys. They're the first night. They're the first headlines of the first night. And the second night is up church. Yeah, you're right. And then Adam Calhoun is the and demon or the uh third day. And the yeah, ticket yeah, prices of that is great. 145. It's not bad for three nights. It's not when you're getting all those big artists. Those are big artists, you feel me? In the genre. But I'm coming back to your I'm coming back to up church. Tune in to So I was talking about Florida. My man is in Tampa, Florida, back to back nights. You know what it is. This is Tampa, boy. And set, the first show was sold out, so they had to add a second show. And then he's in Fort Myers. And that's one week. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Why y'all get all the cool stuff, man? <laughs> hey, that's Florida, man. 
That's Florida. Looks like I'm going to have to catch the second show because I ain't getting to the first one then since it's sold out. <laughs> hey, man. I think that's... Hey, I think, number one, um, the la- I don't, I'm not sure, but I want to say Church hasn't really done any shows since 2022. Yeah, it's been a while. So um, I'm glad to see... Glad to see him back at it. Glad to see him back at it. Um, everybody needs to see him. Hopefully, he'll be adding some Georgia shows. I'm, 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 I'm really, really hoping he's adding some Georgia shows really, really soon. Um, one quick thing I got on my list. Mm-hmm. If y'all haven't had an opportunity already, this is a collaboration that we've been asking for, and we finally got it. Jess, aka the queen of the trailers, I like to call her. Oh yeah. What? Jess, the queen of the trailer, as I like to call her, and what? her her bow, Jess, the queen of the trailer. Okay. And, and her bow, FJ Outlaw, Jess released a joint called. What? Right. Okay. If, okay. I get if it. If y'all haven't checked it out. Go on YouTube. Video is incredible. Yeah, they went in. FJ got a different flow on that joint. I was digging that flow. I was definitely digging the flow. Definitely digging yeah, that Yeah, yeah. That's, that's definitely on the list there. Um, I actually want to do a couple other videos before I do that one. There's two I want to do. Um, and then there's another two I want to do. So the second, the second set. Is gonna be FJ and um and Jess, Queen of the Trailers. That's dope, though. That's dope. That's dope. So what you got, news wise? What you got? Let me see. I got one. I got one. I know you wanted to talk about this artist too. All right. So I'm gonna say what I gotta say, and then you let me know what you got for that artist as well. All right. So we got the one and only East Tennessee. Representative, my dog is Tennessee tough. You feel me? He's out in the field and he played with them spears. Yeah, <laughs> my dog Shaka Bay also, man. So, check this out. He has it's actually happened already. So, I don't, I don't think I've seen like video, I've seen one video. Of, of the show from last night. It was called the M-Town Takeover, right? So this is not something that you can go to because it already happened. I'm just talking about it because I saw that one clip and it okay. looked lit, okay? Bro was spazzing on, on the on the uh, uh, stage. He has a, he has a dope-ass uh, stage uh, performance, stage presence. He knows all his words, <laughs> you feel me? And the crowd, that first line, all you can see is that first line because of the side view. So the first line of the crowd was going crazy. You know what I mean? So they they was definitely fucking with some shock and hustle man. So he he did that. Um him and his homie, his homie uh B Millie. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so he's he's fire. Uh he got a song called Square Bow Stunner that just dropped probably about two, two, three weeks ago. And it's a dope song. Actually, probably about three weeks to a month ago. But it's a dope song. Um, the video is cool. You know what I'm saying? It's one of those those videos where you just out there with the homies and all that. Um, and it's and the song and the, the song is like a, a a metaphor. You feel me? The whole song is a metaphor. You know, it's it's fire. It's fire. You would think he's talking about a girl, but nah, he's talk, he talking about that square body truck. You feel me? And but it is it's lit. It's lit. I play it all the time in the car. I don't have a square body. I don't have a truck. I don't even have a car. It's my wife's car. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but I'll be in that bitch feeling like I'm in a in a in a jacked up square boat. You feel me? <laughs> But yeah, uh, but yeah, he's he's lit, bro. He's lit. Bars and all that, crazy. But yeah, that's what I got on this go round. What you got? Also, make sure, man. This is another joint that's killing the YouTube streets. Jam Wayne and Adam Calhoun. 
The joint is called Ready. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest, that was a perfect, perfect, perfect setup for Adam when he done Shook Ones to come back with this joint with Jam Wayne. Because Jam Wayne is definitely, 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 definitely murking the game. Yeah, he he, he came out and he, he has not stopped, bro. Bro been dropping video after video after video, interviews, all that. Like he, yeah, he he, he came he came for the game. He's uh, he's getting in there. He's uh, he's getting up there too. Um, right now, if I had to say rookie of the year, I still is a tie between, huh? For twenty twenty four. Well, we're gonna go 2023-2024. I still gotta say Florida Dolph. It's a close run between Florida Dolph, Jam Wayne, and Shaka Hustle Man. Shaka Man, Shaka Hustle Man. That's a fact. I, I can see that for sure, for sure, for sure. Also, and this guy, he has a brand new album dropping, and I think this is really, really dope because he was down and out for a while. A uh, Rocky Luciano. I was I was gonna get to him too, so you can continue on him, and I'll and I'll give you what I got on him. All right, he's got a brand new joint dropping called Idols Turn to Rivals. And you got something to say about that project? Cause he oh, he been talking yeah. real he been talking real slick. He, he been on live talking he real been slick. Talking spicy, bro. He been getting he been talking real heavy. Like he he really gonna address some shit in this one too. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm looking forward to it. Cause when you when you when you marketing it, marketing it the way he's been marketing it, it's real interesting. And I'm a, specifically for me, this is why it's interesting. He did a video today, right? Right. And he didn't expose who it was, so much respect to him. You know what I'm saying? He didn't expose the person it was. But he exposed the conversation he was having with whatever person he was having it with. But it was another artist, right? And he was talking his shit, bro. He was like, yeah, these artists out here don't want to get on my album because they don't want to burn bridges and da 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 da, da right? <laughs> he was like, if you... He was like, if you pussy, just say that. <laughs> yo, Rocky, yo, Rocky don't play that bullshit, bro. That's a real son of a bitch right there, bro. That's a real son of a bitch. So check this out. When when the country rap um tour, the country rap tour, remember that? Adam Calhoun, Broad Next, Demon Jones, um, and um uh, 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 Dusty Lee from from what twenty? That was like twenty twenty two, twenty twenty two, twenty twenty three. Yeah, so we up in there, you know, Trailer Man. We popped out out to the one in uh, Gainesville, so we popped out there, and um, he um, and Rocky Luciano, right? The one, the 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 rapper, the artist that's dropping that album. What's that album called? Idols Turn the Rivals. Idols turn to rivals. What we, yeah, so him. So his name is Rocky Luciano. Um, he's a, he a cool-ass dude. You know what I'm saying? You could tell you're a real motherfucker, but he's still a cool-ass dude. Like, because he's doing security, so he's back and forth from the stage to back to backstage where we was at, you know, chopping it up, then going back, coming back, going back. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I was sitting there watching the show from, the from like, the side corner view, right? It was Adam Calhoun was on the stage and Rocky was on the corner of the stage over there just standing there watching. Something happened, bro. I didn't even catch what happened. This man, Rocky, was off the stage within one second, bro. (laughs) One second? Leaped. No, hold on. That's not the right word, is it? It's leapt. Is that right? That's how you say it, right? Leap. Leap. No, he, he, he didn't leap. He leapt. I think that's the word, bro. Rodder. Is leapt the word? Like you you leap, you leap off of something. It's called leapt. I think it's leap. <laughs> My wife said, I don't know. I don't think that sound right. <laughs> it's leap. L-E-A-P-E-D. Leap. Okay. Yeah. I think it sounds right the first time. 
Now, <laughs> so he li- he leaped off the stage, bro, and dived. He he grabbed on a hold of somebody and straight manhandled that man. He was out. He was he he got kicked out. He, he yeah. They escorted that man the fuck up out of there. But yeah, so he don't play. I say all that to say that he don't play that bullshit. Okay. Hey man, hey man, you gotta be. A, hey, some people might feel like it's it's an honor to be threw out by a famous rapper. <laughs> That's all they can say, cause they got their ass threw out. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Shout out to another Floridian. Country Code has got a brand new joint out called Better Man. Uh, it features Dan Wood. It's actually out right now. Y'all can go stream that okay. everywhere. And while you're on Country Cody, you also got one out with Corey Spires. That one's called Last Call. That one just dropped, like, last week. <laughs> hey, Corey be getting it in. Yeah. Yeah, she's fire, bro. She got that voice. She definitely – she can sing. Yeah. She you can't know, sing. She, she can sing. sing. She can sing. That's for sure. She can sing. And we mentioned this earlier. She hasn't dropped a sing, her own single yet. She has. I have to drop. drop. It's, yes, it's, but it, it's it's really special, bro. It sounds like some like uh uh Katy Perry, um, some type of like uh, but like strong like a I'm um, Pink. Remember Pink? How you know? Well, you, she has a strong singing voice. Remember Pink? I used to love Pink. Is that the song? The 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 how Corey sounds on the song is that strength like that. You feel me? It's it's a lit song, bro. All right, now we in our last episode we reviewed, we reacted to Overtime, featuring Big Buzz. Well, Overtime also has a joint dropping with Big Murph called Bobby mm. on March twenty second. And then the following week, March 28th, Big Murph is dropping a brand new album called Me Versus Me. And I've always said, man, one of the most versatile artists in this genre, I think, Murph. is is Murph, man. Because I've heard I've heard songs with Murph just singing that are incredible. Singing, rock star singing, yes. rapping, like he he does a lot of different sounds, bro. He's he's talented. And he and he's always bar heavy. Definitely, he definitely. Just, he just dropped a song called "Loser," and that it came out. It's on my playlist. It came out like two, like two weeks ago. I want to say. Man, definitely super smart. It's like no, I haven't heard it yet. on a baseball field. Hold on, hold on. I, you know what? I seen some of it, but I didn't listen to the. I didn't listen to. I just seen the thumbnail. I That's seen the, the top thumbnail. of my Spotify, right? Okay. This is it's called Extraction Point Fire 2 because this is what I play. It's the playlist I play when I do Extraction Point Mobile Gel Soft stuff. So I just want to let you know, y'all artists out there, I play y'all at these events, bro. But uh, look, there you go. At the top of my joint, Loser, Big Murph, Square Bow Stunner, Shaka Hustle Man. I don't play. Who that? Who that? Uh, who's that? Uh, Prep Cashmere, Boot Walk. Oh, Ooh. yeah, you... You represent. You feel me? Like I don't play. I, I listen. I listen to these songs. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't do yeah, that. Spear, Tennessee, tough field. You feel me? Oh, then we got some Mo three. You know what I mean? We got some Mo three and then all that big extra plug and all that. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all artists are in there with artists like that. Mo three and big extra plug and all that. You feel me? So I really listen. I ain't gonna lie. I don't listen to everybody's full albums and and, and a, a whole huge playlist full of just their music. I, I like to mix my shit up. So I put whatever the songs that I like the most in the playlist. With like on this playlist, I got rock, rap, uh, a little bit of old school rock, some new rap, a uh, new rock. I got a dude from over from goddamn Scotland or something, you know what I'm saying, called Peyton somebody, and, um, you know, he does, like, Viking music, you know what I'm saying? So I, I got a lot of different different music in this playlist, and I like it like that, you know what I'm saying? But I only put well, the stuff that I really like on it. 
So look, I want to show this. Oh, and then I just lost it. Oh man, come on back. It's going down April the 20th. If y'all don't know, it's going down April the 20th. Chief will be in the building. I will be in the building. Yucky Banks is doing his country rap roots. Con country rap roots. All right, you see that video? Yucky Banks is at yeah. work. I said he's one of the hardest working guys in this genre. Yucky Banks is at work building a stage out of pallets. You see the pallets there? He's building a stage out of pallets. Do it yourself. He's going to put this festival together. Um, it's going down April 20th, Saturday, April 20th. It's going to be Shaden Adams, Boondock Kings. Um, mm -hmm. Man, there are some of the people that we're expecting to be in the building. Tone the Bone. Scramming. Um, he he announced Scram. He just announced Scram. Uh, let me see if I can find a lineup here real quick. Because Jackie's in between promoting the event and promoting his music. So he's bouncing back and forth. Uh, the last I seen, uh, Tone the Bone, Boondock King, Shaden Adams, and uh, Zay Grassley. He had Creek Road music booked, but I think they're going to be somewhere else. So right now we're looking at Zay Grassley, Tone the Bone, Boondock King, Shaden Adams, and Scram. And what what city or what town or or county is it in? Does it say? Well, we're in Franklin, North Carolina. And that's you said Franklin. Franklin, North Carolina. That's the North, ticket. That's North, uh, um, oh yeah, that's like what South North Carolina. Yes, because it's closer to the to the Atlanta side of things. Okay, so it's, it's North Carolina, but the southern region of North Carolina. Yeah, the south the south so portion. For me, it's like it's like eight nine hours. Yeah, for me, I think it's gonna be three. Yeah, like so I'm gonna be there though. I'm gonna be there with Extraction Point Mobile Jail Soft, like I said. So if you're trying to, you know what I'm saying? Everybody shooters, right? Everybody shooters till it's time to shoot. Yeah, well, we're gonna <laughs> we're see. see who the shooters are. Hey, and hopefully, Yucky has a table because I'm gonna most definitely be there with them Uno cards. Hey, Again, no, no bullshit. He should have a little area where it's just games. You know what I'm saying? With Uno cards. I'm bringing my cornhole too. I'm bring. I got a cornhole set. I'm bringing my cornhole and right. I'm bringing the, the Uno cards. Okay, okay. So we're gonna have some some other stuff out there. I got. I have a um. Excuse me. I have a horseshoe uh, set. So I'll bring that too. You know about some horseshoes, Chief? We can set up a whole play area. What you know about horses, Chief? Man, I toss a few of them things. You know, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got my, uh, I got my, uh, you feel me? I got my uh, form right. Okay. Yeah. You feel me? Like, I can't, it's a little, it's a little rectangle here. So I can't really show you all the form, but. It, don't, don't give it away. You might, you they might get the. Don't play. They might get the drinking and put some money down. Hey. Oh, don't don't put don't test me on that core hole either. Y'all really y'all really better be shooters if you, if you try to test me on that cornhole. Man. You good I, on cornhole? Some sometimes I am, bro. I I have to get in like the I have to get in a in a flow in a groove, bro, and I be hitting. You feel me? So sometimes I don't be hitting. <laughs> and you know what else? For some reason, I feel like. I feel like an impromptu beer pong game or two will probably jump off too. Mm -hmm. Oh I can yeah, see well, most definitely, most definitely. We're I can be, definitely. We're gonna be doing um, you know, around the bonfire. So he's gonna have a bonfire. We're gonna be out there passing blunts around. You know, what I'm saying drinking and stuff, sharing stories. I'm sure playing music. You know, um, all of that, man. It's gonna be a good time, bro. He also wanted, like, like I said in the other in the last video, we got to get him on to talk about the details so people yeah. understand what's going to be there, so they could, you know, they could really see the thought that he's putting into this. You feel me? Like he's doing like stuff that's outside the box. He a farmer, 
So this is these are the ideas that he's really wanting to to bring to people to to have them try it and you know have some and learn how to do these things briefly. You feel me? You know what I mean? He wanted to teach people how to you know uh, uh, plant different fruits and vegetables and all that. He wants to take groups fishing, come back, clean the fish, you know, and then we and then everybody we sit there and cook at the fucking bonfire. Like, really? He wants to do that? Yes, bro. Hey, this is gonna be dope. This is gonna be dope. It's gonna be more than a music. This is gonna be more than a musical experience. This is gonna be a whole this is gonna it's gonna be an experience. This is just gonna be an experience. And some of the people that told me they might be coming, like Papa said. Fred say he's gonna pull up. Old Skeet say he might be pulling up. Um, hey man, I'll be lit. So Hell speaking Billy, of pull up, Hell Billy. Hey, Hell Billy definitely need to pull up. Hell, I, man, he need to pull up for real. The wife is gonna be with me. The wife is definitely gonna be with me. Um, and speaking of the Country Roots Festival and the headliner being the Boondock Kings, the Boondock Kings has a brand new joint dropping. Um. This week called history, and the Boondock Kings. A lot of people sometimes I feel like the Boondock Kings get slept on because they were early country rap. Mm -hmm. They was putting in those dudes doing the open mics. They was getting on on stage at the black clubs. Like they've been putting in those dudes when country rap wasn't cool. And I think sometimes they were so early that people forget about them. But they're definitely definitely doing that thing. They got a brand new joint called History. Go check it out right now. What's it called? History. It's an album? No, it's, it's a new video called History. Okay, okay. That Make sounds... Get in the comments. Spam the comments. Country Rap Report approved. Hey. We should do that to, know, to let people know when our stamp is coming across. Like, yes. Hey, hey the community's coming. That's what yeah. we should call ourselves, the community. The community country is coming. <laughs> so, um, you heard about the new 16 bar challenge? Uh, yep, I have that right. I have that on my list to talk about too. Zach Spade. Okay, I'll present it. So we got, <laughs> we got, we got Zach Spade, right? He has an official. It just started. Today was the first day. An official, um, 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 what's that shit? What's the song called? Love Potion Number Nine. Number official nine. Love number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Uh, Sixteen bar challenge. You heard? And it's fire, bro. Like I'm, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I might. Your boy might into that. I thought about I thought about entering. I gotta get someone to teach me how to do it. I thought about entering it. I I I, I think I'm gonna do that, bro. Because when I heard, because I'm I'm listening to it, right? He's playing the hook, like he's singing it. Of course, you know how they do, and he's using a <laughs> marketing man. He's using a rap star energy drink can as a microphone. <laughs> I need to get some of that, bro. What's up? But yeah, he's using it as a microphone. And um then when then the beat comes in, right? And it's just the beat playing. My mind immediately just started going. And it wasn't even on a rap shit either. It was like a combination of the two meshed fused together, right? So I'm just going and I, in my head I'm saying stuff, saying stuff. I'm like, yo, I would kill this. I might just go ahead and enter this right here. You feel me? So I think I'm gonna do that, man. Shout out, shout out to Zach Speed. Um, shout out to Via. Um, shout out to Tom Cat. Yeah, Angel. Yeah, shout out to Via Angel. Uh, I got her in here too, cause she's fire. Um, anything else? Anything you want to say first about uh the 16 bar challenge? Uh, I'm gonna say all I'm gonna say is if I do it, I need y'all to remember Orin, Orin Juice Jones. So if I do it and you see me, I need y'all to go Google Orin Juice Jones. Oh, I thought you said Orange Juice. Orin. His name was Orin. O-R-A-N. Orin Juice okay. Jones. So if I enter, that's going to be my style. Yep. 
Okay. So I don't want to give it. I don't want to give it up. All right, you had some over via Angel. Yeah, yeah. So remember when we when we did left portion number nine, we reviewed it. Uh -huh. We had we were talking about wanting to hear more from her. You know what I'm saying? Because like, yo, you got a great voice. Like your YouTube is 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 kind of light. We need to see some work. You feel me? So I mean, I don't know if she saw that because she's making it a point to say different things like patience is a virtue you, i've seen you, that you feel me? but i'm not i'm not gonna be like hey she was listening to me and listen to us say that she needs to drop more music i ain't gonna say that because i'm sure plenty of other people has told her that you know what i mean because she's that talented that people want to hear it but um uh so she she's posted a couple videos of her in the studio you know, with a song playing and she just going off all happy about it. The engineers doing work on it. Like one of them old school, like, you know, studio videos, you feel me? But it wasn't like a music video type style. It was just the, 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 uh, the creative juices, the creative part of, you know, putting the song together. That's how the video was. And, um, so she got some new music coming out. Um, and then she also has uh her YouTube page that she's that she's um trying to push. So everybody out there go to YouTube and then type in via V I A Angel A N G E L Music M U S I C. So via Angel Music V I A A N G E L M U S I C. All right. Um and she's gonna have some music dropping. That's dope, man. I can't wait to hear from her. I can't wait to hear from her. Um, I thought this was really cool, and this happened in February. Um, I had me and my wife was watching the People's Choice Award, mm -hmm. and they had advertised that Jelly Roll was gonna be on the People's Choice Award, and he didn't make it. But guess why he didn't make it? Man, why? He was out visiting a juvenile facility. My dog. I hear a lot of people who don't like where Jelly Roll is at success-wise. They say he sold out. But Jelly Roll right now is really putting on for the community, man. That man yeah, missed man. being on national television. He missed being on national television to visit a juvenile facility. I need every hater of Jelly Roll to just let that marinate. Let that marinate. You got to eat that one. Sorry. Not, I ain't even going to say sorry. I'm happy to say that. Eat that one. Because that man is actually doing something that's going to impact lives. You know what I'm saying? Like, concerts, sometimes artists don't make it, bro. Sometimes they just don't get to a concert. It's life. It happens. It happens all the time. It's always happened, right? But everybody's not not going to a concert or, or a big show like the People's Choice Awards, right? To go, you know, sow into some youth, to plant yep. some seeds into some youth, man. You know, and I know I know what that's like. I used to work at a youth facility, a level six youth facility, uh, detention facility. Really? And it's dope that he did that, bro. These kids need that, bro. Like, I've seen some things, like, a lot of kids is lost, man. You know? So, if you don't like that he didn't make that show, or you hating on him because he, he, you, you saying he crossed over because he went to the industry, but look, he's still sowing into the community. He's still sowing into to youth, you know? He's still doing positive things. So I don't care where he's at. <laughs> you feel me as far as where his music go is, is at. I don't care if it stayed country rap or if it went, you know, and, and independent or if it went universal as far as like the world and industry. It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is what you do, you know, and what he's doing is, is great stuff, man. So the last piece of news I guess. I got actually I got two more pieces of news. One thing is important. speaking of jelly, I'm gonna give one, you give one, then I'll give mine, then you give yours. Speaking of jelly roll, 
Jelly Roll's partner in crime, his best friend, Struggle Jennings, who's fresh off a tour with Jelly Roll, his Jelly Roll's opening act, is now going back on the road as the opening act for national recording artist Brantley Gilbert. Damn. Struggle Jennings will be packing it up. Gilbert, I've heard the name. He's a big one. He This tour starts March 21st in Canton, Ohio and ends July 20th in Kodak, Wisconsin. And guess what? They're not coming to Florida. Uh, oh, you like that, don't you? But they're not coming to Georgia either, so hell, it don't matter. <laughs> they're not coming to Georgia either. The closest they'll be to Georgia will be Clarksville, Tennessee. Oh, man. But hey, man, salute. So, I, hey, man, say what you want to say about the general country rap. These wings are really, really spreading. They're really spreading. All right, what you got? It's working, too. All right, so my next person, man, this guy, he just got signed recently. I believe it was late last year. Um, just signed to with Timberland. His name is Colt Graves. All right, Colt Graves, dope artist. Um, he has a single out right now that's dope. Um, and it's called Cowboy, Cowboy Capone is what it's called. Cowboy Capone by Colt Graves. So I would like to help him announce because he already announced it. I would just like And this is on my playlist, too, for y'all. Don't, don't, don't think I'll be real with it. What's up? No, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to see who, are you so announcing what I'm throwing up. Right. He said, let's go. Five million streams is such a big milestone. Five times silver. He's on his way. It's going to go gold. That's five times silver. He's going to go gold. You heard? So shout out to that man. Um, yeah, he, he's dope, man. He, go listen to that guy. Cowboy All right, Capone, let's... hashtag country music, hashtag Timberland. Good and guy. for the record, for the record, speaking of that record, that joint features Timberland. Yep. It features Timberland. So don't 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 think it is it's just no, it features Timberland. Five million. Just so y'all know, that's my Spotify. You feel me? That big 30s on there, yeah. Country rap, man. Country rap. Timbaland knows what country rap is. All right, since we showing, look, last my last news piece. And that's a great, that's a great thing. Timbaland been new. He picked he the one who picked up goddamn Bubba Sparks. Bubba Sparks, yeah. Whiskey shots. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, country rap report would like to introduce to you guys. Our first of many mixtapes, it's called Whiskey Shots. All the Whiskey Shots, all the mixtapes will be called Whiskey Shots. So just like Gangster Grills, Whiskey Shots 1 through 100. We just dropped it this week, well, last week, as of you watching this. It features, hey. it features 17 amazing artists, mixed, curated, mixed by the incredible Paw Paw Fresh. Um, if you're an artist. If you're an artist out there, if you got music and you want to submit it for Whiskey Shots, uh, hit my inbox, Chief Inbox, Pop Out Fresh Inbox, Spank, hit one of our inboxes, and we'll see if it makes the cut. Because every record don't make the cut. It's going on how Pop Out Fresh feels. It's got to make the cut. But artists, the way it's done is streamed on one track because we didn't want people skipping to their favorite song because Whiskey Shots is going to be a country rap experience. You got to experience it from the beginning to the end. You just might miss something. Fire. You just might. And also, the reason we made it one track, we didn't want people sneaking downloading people's music. So it's a great way to promote yourself and make people want to come to your Spotify, to your iTunes, to your title, to your YouTube page to hear what you got. So if you're an artist and you're interested in Whiskey Shots, make sure you in inbox any of, of the, the good fellows of the 
Country Rare Report, Chief, myself, Pop Off Fresh, or mm-hmm. Sprank, and you know, we'll figure it out. Um, and it's also available. It's available on SoundCloud, YouTube, Audio Mac, and Mixcloud. If you want to listen to it, hey, listen to it on all platforms. Subscribe to the Country Rare Report page on SoundCloud, Country Rare Report page on Audio Mac. And the country report page on Mixcloud. Subscribe, listen to the joint, leave com- it's just like YouTube. Leave comments there, push that thing on the algorithm. You're only helping the artist. Yeah. Well, that was my last thing. You know what? Let's let's finish off the video on that topic, right? So me and BDK, we did a review of the whole mixtape as well, right? And mm-hmm. so how we feel, how we were talking about it and discussing it. There's got to be a way to collectively, as a community, push artists or even the, this mixtape series, you know, because pushing this mixtape series is going to let people know the people who's in the genre uh, or in the community, but also in the genre, but the, uh, uh, also, but that's in the Country Rap Report community, though, as well, because all those songs came from basically the Country Rap Report community. You know, mm-hmm. so um, like, how are we going to market the mixtape as a whole, right? For one, that's question one. Question two is, what do you think about pushing um, the Zach Spade Pop Off Fresh remix? You know, it's not the official remix, right? But I'm just saying that because I'm hoping that's what it would be. <laughs> you feel me? <clears throat> Zach Spade. Uh, so, but, yeah. So, how do you feel about? But for that Zach Zach Spade, even the Busy Boat one, those are those are songs that seem like DJs need to have a hold of those. And you know, skating rinks, bowling alleys. You know, I'm gonna say this: that. all the DJs of the genre. Let's start with the genre: DJ Catfish, DJ Cannon Banyan. Um, I, I'm, I'm, those are the two DJs that stick out of my mind. They can always get at myself. They can get at Pop Off Fresh. They can't even get at me. Pop Off Fresh can exclusively send them that song. Yeah. Um, because of possible sample issues, I'm not sure if it can be pushed as an official single. Remake. Because, you know, huh? Remake it similar. Well, I mean, now let me say this and. I don't know any details, but Zach Spade's management management team has reached out to Pop Off Fresh. So I'm hoping it's something about future work and hopefully that record. Because I agree, that record need to be in skating rinks, bonfires, clubs, as well as the busy boat. Mm -hmm. Because he turned those into completely different records which can be played now to other audiences. Did you you, I, you saw it? BDK's video that he posted about the, the his friend of his that does the skating, right? And he he uh, he taught he taught Usher how to, to do the skating. Oh yeah, he put had the boosie on there, and he put yeah he put a boosie in the in the video, but yeah. he put like a mashup of that guy. I think it was I think it was a video that his friend already made. I think he just had this, he just took the video. Silenced it out and then dropped that the the Zach Spade via Angel Paw Paw Fresh in there and it fit seamlessly. I'm I am reposting that video tomorrow. I got it downloaded in my phone. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna repost it too. And when I repost it, I'm gonna post it with the link to the mixtape. Hopefully, Mm -hmm. that'll encourage people to listen to the mixtape also. Yeah, yeah. But I, I. I we feel like this. If you want me to be honest, and it goes back to what we were saying um, during the last episode, there are people in this genre who don't get along, from artists to content creators. Mm-hmm. Let it be known: the Country Rap Report, whether you like Vic, whether you like Chief, whether you like Spank, we are here for the betterment of this genre. And this mixtape was done. For the betterment of this journal. I've had I've had a content creator who won't 
who will listen to it and enjoy it, but won't speak on it on their platform because of issues they have with people who support this platform. And I'm gonna leave that there. And it shouldn't be that way. You feel me? And and the, and the sad part, the issues they have is not with an artist. But because that person is a heavy supporter of this platform, they like the mixtape. I even asked them, what can I pay you from a marketing standpoint for, for 41 minutes of time on your platform? Just rock out to it. Let your people hear it. They only want the money. Dang. So again, going back to what we said in the last platform, and that person is not a music person, so I get it. But they have a big platform of people who I know enjoy music. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? But because of, of, of their disagreements with people that support this platform, there's like, they, they like it. Oh, I like it. It's jamming. But I can't play it on my platform based on the history with some of your supporters. Wow. Seems to me like motherfuckers need to start clearing up, clearing some shit up, mending some bridges and all that because it's not about no one person. It, it's about moving the genre forward, bro. Like, if artists, if artists have issues with artists, that's what battles are for. You know what I'm saying? But no con no other content creator outside of being an artist should be battling with no other content creators and or people within that that certain community and just sabotage it for everybody else. You feel me like I'm this? If if it's about the music, let it be about the music. If you even have to point out that you don't support such and such, but there's some music here that pe people should hear, do that. You feel me? But don't don't not support it because of one or two people when there's like 10 different people on the on the fucking thing on on the mixtape it's like 17 17 different people on that mixtape bro and you can't support it for a handful two three people that's listen to it ahead of time and skip that part or something i don't know <laughs> you know the funny part the 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 their the reason for not supporting the person that they dislike ain't even on the mixtape. They're just supporters of the platform. I don't know, man. Some people is just this is for this for the artist, man. That's I'm gonna leave it at that, bro. It's for the artist. I'm, hey, man. That's all I got for. Him. Remember, whiskey shots, and that shots with a Z. At it's available on YouTube. It's available on Audio Mac. It's available on SoundCloud as well as MixCloud. Feel free to go sub up to each and every channel. All those platforms are absolutely free. Go listen to listen to it four times, one on each platform, and then subscribe up to the channels. And I don't know what I did with it. Ah, I don't know what I did with it. Um, we're taking this whiskey shots so serious. We are going to um I ain't no idea with it. How did that happen? Hey, Vic. Oh no, I was taking I was taking shots oh, the other day. You lost your shot glass? I lost my I lost my trailer made shot glass. But yes, I want to get whiskey shot shot glasses. Um, this is something that that's believed in. Pop out fresh can even envision a whiskey shot tour. Now, how we put how that could be pulled off, I don't know. But yeah. hey man, the sky's the limit. The sky's the limit, but it takes people getting behind it. Yep. So and it takes marketing the project so more people more ears can hear it. You don't yes. want to try to set up shows and nobody show up to them. <laughs> Hey, no, we ain't gonna do that. So all I can say is, if you're not listening to whiskey shots, don't be a hater your whole life. There's do it for the artist. You like, believe that. You do gonna like something. 
And part two is 90% done. And part three will be a, so we are so much trying to bring back the mixtape game over here. Mm -hmm. Part three is going to be an artist only. One artist only. Remember how drama would do the Lil Wayne's yeah. or the. Oh, it's about to get real spicy in this video. So, so if you are an artist out there and you are interested in having a whiskey shot, contact any of the people involved. Ooh, Especially if you got some if, if you got some freestyles laying around or some beat jacks or 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 if you want some of your singles sliced and diced, you know what I'm saying? What a great way to promote yourself. Yeah, you can already drop existing stuff on there and some new shit. Yes, yes, it can be. And again, it's not. We're not making it for people who can go. Just like with the artist, it'll be one track. Mm -hmm. It's a way to promote you. Now, I've had some artists who declined. Decline what? Being on a whiskey shots. Really. They didn't want their music tampered with. Oh. All right. I mean, that's their opinion. So, you know, so that's all I got, man. I'm finna, I'm finna hit the hay. Uh, as, as we speak, as we close this off, I'm writing the artist right now to see if they want to be a featured artist. What is it called? Whiskey shots. Whiskey shot. Yeah. But like, Part three is going to be the start of doing it all exclusive one artist, or it's going to be jumping around from artists to groups of artists. Or no, basically we've already had artists reach out to us. Okay. And inquire. So, you know, we try to gotta iron some things out, but the way it's set, actually the way it's kind of set up, three and four probably will be artists. But I'm gonna be honest. Okay. These things are moving so fast. It's a I wanted mixtapes. Yeah, but I wanted to drop one a month. But technically, if I wanted to, I could drop two this week. I'm just not going to. Yeah, one a month is cool. Yeah. So, but but let me say this: if we do artist ones, so the goal is to do a mixtape once a month that features multiple artists. But if artists are interested in having one done, they can be plugged into the month. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, good idea. Good idea. So, like say, for instance, if we release Whiskey Shots 1 in March and 2 will probably come in April, 3 might come in April too, but that'll be artists only. And if 4 comes in April, it'll be, if we do multiple ones in the month, those will be artists. But we definitely plan on getting a multi a multi artist one Every month. Okay. So I ain't even gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it a bean. Artists only mixtapes, there will be there will be a cost. Because okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna be honest, you can't go to drama and get drama to do you against the grills, you know what I'm saying? Because once we do an artist only one, you're gonna also be able to put it on your platform, also. We're not just gonna hold your man, you know what I'm saying? So and when you put it on your platform, you might be able to monetize it. I doubt it because it's going to have other beats in it. But again, it's a great way to yeah, promote. True. You can't. You're not going to be able to monetize that. Not the whole thing. Uh, you could. They could pick and choose from it. Whatever is original. Yeah. Probably. But, but, but hey, man, you can press it up, sell it, do whatever you choose to do. Because we're gonna, we're gonna give you the master to it. So, but up until then. And like I said, an artist reached out to us. So, you know, he's talking to talk. And I ain't gonna lie, the ticket ain't no crazy amount. The ticket, it ain't. Right now, what we're talking about ain't no crazy amount. But, you know, there's work being put into it. All right, man, let's get up out of here. I'm, I'm writing the artist right now, actually. Okay. And you might have to explain the artist. A lot of artists in the genre don't understand the mixtape game. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm. Matter of fact, the artists, if they don't 
send them one of the links, whether it's SoundCloud, or whatever, and maybe it'll make sense to them. But we feel like by the time we drop the third one, it'll make sense to some of the artists. So, all right, so all right man. What say. I hit them up. All right, all right, man. Where can they find you? Hey, you know you can find your boy. I'm on Facebook at Kashif McCormick. So I'm on YouTube or so Instagram and YouTube. So I don't have to go run through both separately. I'm on Instagram and YouTube under trailer made underscore chief. That's T R A Y L O R M A D E underscore chief C H I E F. All right. So follow me on those platforms and hey, send me a song, send me some music. You know, if you need help with an idea or something like that, just holler at your boy. You know what I'm saying? I I I'll, I'll give out I give it out I I give out ideas like. I don't know, something that gives out things a lot. <laughs> hey, Whiskey Shots, SoundCloud, MixCloud, Audio Mac, YouTube. Country Rap Report playlist on Spotify. Check that thing out. If you're an artist and you feel like you need to be on the playlist, inbox us. Like I said, it's 105 songs, 105 artists. It's really more than 105 artists, but it's 105 artists on there but some of those songs has features but it's 105 and i and don't if you go on the playlist and say man why y'all ain't got enough of this or enough of this because that ain't what we we're not trying to put all our eggs in this basket this is the country rap report basket we are building a musical community so we're spreading the love around so i didn't deem it necessary and now please believe there are artists i would love to put five songs on but so, then that defeats the purpose of the platform so what um so how often are we gonna drop like new uh playlists like country rap report playlist three four five, uh, season three four five six so that's the thing i was wondering should i number them and do different ones because i ain't gonna lie what i did was completely deleted the last playlist yeah it, it should be numbered like you, so you think it should be different ones should go, like from the the one season will be the whole spring season. Then season the next season after that is well, I think a hundred songs is a lot. Then if we do it that way. Yeah, well, well, multiple artists are gonna be dropping, they, they are all gonna drop more songs. So yeah. it'll just be an opportunity to make another playlist and add the same some of the same artists that's on this other one onto this one, but now it's new music, you know, and then the next one will have some of the same artists still. But a new song, you know, so so on and so forth. So if we do it more, oh, we can do time, quarters. We can do about quarters, cause what is it, four quarters a year or three quarters a year? Yeah. First, First quarter, season. like Spring this one is all winter. Yeah. So and this we, is we can we can mess with the graphics and stuff like the winter. We could throw some some snow and shit in there and all that for the graphic, you know. And we can mess with the graphics a little bit. Like I like Google, that, like how Google do. You know how Google, yeah. You know it'll in the front of Google it'll have the seasons, but each letter will be something. You yeah. Know? <laughs> like so, you know stuff like that. I like that. I like that. Point taken. All right, everywhere you see Country Rap Report, please, please, please participate. Whether it's on YouTube, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, every social media you see Country Rap Report, hit that like button, subscribe button, follow button, whatever kind of button it is, hit it. Because we are building a strong community. When I say this, I mean this. I don't care who get mad. When you see it up there and it says your number one source for country rap, I stand on that. I stand on that. And I feel like me personally, I can't say that if I got a favorite or if I'm showing favoritism. That's why I don't I don't support the NFL. I support the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> yeah. I don't support the NBA. I support the Los Angeles Lakers. Yeah. But I support country rap. Yeah. So I mean I support all all of it. The good, the bad, and the ugly. I even I try to find the good and the bad because just because I don't like it, just because Chief don't like it, just because Spank might not like it, that doesn't mean our community won't. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, we can't afford to hate on nobody. 
So, all right, man, that's all I got. You only spit truths. That's it. Just make sure your skin will look. Hey, coming soon. Artists coming soon. I just got the thumbs up. The fire squad is coming. Okay. I just got yeah. the thumbs up. The fire squad is coming. New show. It's a new show, y'all. That we, we, we just now, it's an official announcement. You know, the firing squad is coming. We'll get the details together behind the scenes and then present it to y'all. So this way, if you want to be a part of it, you can you can you can sit there right in front of the fire squad. <laughs> oh man, I don't even know how I let you know. I say we have we have a um every so often, not every episode, but every so often we have a guest. We gotta do one just us first. No, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. But, I don't even know how. Let let you... Wow, we we can do that still. I don't even know how I let you talk me into it. Even... <laughs> oh man! Some people are not gonna like. We, me, and BDK have brought this up on the uh, for the mixtape. There was an artist on there that we was really not feeling. And don't tell me, please don't tell me. Yeah, I'm not. So, but you know, so in order to improve right you got to hear the truth because somebody shouldn't have let that artist release that you feel me somebody should have caught the issues with it but nobody nobody caught it or nobody was willing to say anything the fire squad though <laughs> we gonna let you know okay we gonna let you know and i'll be there to clean up what spank and, and chief say Pew, pew, pew. Oh, no, how you gonna go? <laughs> hey man, the next time, y'all. Peace, man. Thanks. <laughs> I've been playing in the creek. Muddy water, bad tops, blessed, and I'm bringing that heat. Just let me speak. Yeah, we be putting in work, and we about to eat. Ready to feast. Yeah. Know that they tell you 100, that money don't sleep. It's waiting on me. It's waiting on me.